Hello, everybody. My name is Lian Queen, and I'm working in Infi for over ten years. Today, my topic is fiber communication development. Hopefully, after this presentation, you guys have some idea of what is fiber communication, how the semiconductor industry, and、uh, hopefully, it will help you to for your. Uh, career plan.、Uh, first,、uh, I'm going to review the whole market data traffic. It's grown dramatically recently, and、uh, all this、uh, traffic growth accelerates the optical fiber communication. Infi happens to be the lead for this fiber communication. Components provider, and follow that. I'm going to explain what is a fiber communication, what is a basic inside the all the components, how we measure that.、Um, and、uh, after we finish all this very basic, I have very brief lab set up to show everybody. And finally, we have quiz. Historically,、uh, over the thirty years, especially the recent ten years, the global internet traffic grows dramatically. You can see from the started with two thousand eight until today, the each month the traffic grows very fast. Especially, you know we. Have the COVID nineteen? Everybody stay at home, and、uh, all this bad with demand is huge. If we take a look at detail, all these applications you probably will heard about、uh, cloud, five G, AI, IoT, all this terminology.、Um, today, I'm I'm going to focus for the. Majority of this traffic going through inside the data center, which we、uh, sometimes you heard、uh, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, all these hyperscale name, and the another one which I'm going to focus is five、uh, G. So、uh, you will hear a lot of examples of five G. So again, all this data and traffic explanation in all the different application. And the majority will focus inside the data center and 5G as a, as a very typical application. As I just mentioned, Infi is the leader for this electrical optics solution,、um, and、uh, we Infi enables the transition to you know for the to meet all these high bandwidth requirement. Uh, accelerate the transition to the digital world. A very brief、uh, introduction of Infi. Infi has twenty years, founded in two thousand. So far, we have over one thousand、uh, employee, and our majority business will split in cloud business. I mentioned as in the for the data center, either inside the data center or between the data center. Another.、Um, Big part is tel telecom business, which is、uh, we're going to talk a little bit about five G. Infi、uh, has all this over the world design center, sales, and operation.、Um, yeah, Infi very proud to have a lot of、uh, the trophies from our end customers and also from all these magazines. Okay, so、uh, for our coming early April lecture, we will have my colleague、um, to、uh, to give everybody the introduction of the of the you know the semiconductor very basic uh, uh, some concept and lab tools. So all、uh, these engineers are over fifteen、uh, years、uh, semiconductor experience. Okay. Uh, so far, we just talk about the you know the 
data growth accelerate of the fiber communication. Now, the question is, what is a fiber communication? Um, where we use the fiber communication. So here is a picture, which is we're going to go through uh, the fiber communication which will be deployed in the different area with different distance. We call this is access, metro, backbone, and DCI. So this is all regarding the different distance application. And all this different distance will can be used in fiber. All this colorful is connected with fiber for the communication. Now we, if we go to the very basic, uh, everybody has a cell phone, right? So the cell phone, uh, the communication goes through is signal goes to the tower, tower go to the, um, you know, uh, sent sent office. So goes through the fiber, but the signal from the uh, so from your phone to the tower is wireless. If you stay at a home and you will use Wi-Fi, you, you will use cable to connect it to your router. And that connection is copper. Um, so um, we're going to discuss the three different uh, the communication, wireless, copper, and the fiber communication. And we can make the easy conclusion why we use fiber optical communication. Okay, so keep in mind that the bandwidth is related to the distance. So the because of the too much loss, the copper is the distance is very short. The bandwidth is lower. And uh, wireless is between the copper and the fiber communication a little bit better, but not too much. Um, fiber communication, because it's almost a no loss, then it can drive the different distance up to over, you know, sub, uh, over the, the longer, like uh, the over the sea, like 250 kilometer. So it's, the, uh, it's pretty long because of the less loss. And also the bandwidth is um, a pretty, pretty high. Okay, so let's let's give some idea is what is the fiber communication. Okay, so fiber communication um, separated in the transmitter and the receiver. Transmitting is need electrical signal in, optical signal out. Receiver is vice versa, optical in, electrical out. So the the ideal case is the electrical signal will add it on top of the fiber, which is less loss, run the longer distance, go through the receiver. From receiver is uh, uh, change the signal from optical to electrical. If we use the electrical as all this digital signal, uh, for example, we have transmitter is uh, this digital. We have to make sure the receiver is the same coming back, the, receive the same digital. You don't want to make a mistake. Uh, the transmitter and the receiver pattern is different. Then it means you distorted your signal. Uh, so again, keep in mind, so we have to make sure your transmitter uh, pattern and the receiver pattern is the same. So that's the fundamental, the criteria for the fiber communication. Before we talk about the detail, what is, how we make the fiber communication work in module, I have two concepts um, want to review with you. One is ADC, DAC. So simple like uh, A is analog, D is digital, C is converter. So it's analog digital converter. Uh, so all our uh, voice or the video is all analog signal, which will be more uh, converged to digital before it can trans uh, communication. Okay, so simple like that is DAC is digital to analog. Okay. 
Uh, the second one, what I want to review is Ohm's law, is uh, voltage equal to current and resistor. When you have a switch on, then the, uh, your light will on because you have current to go through. Okay, so let's talk about the very basic of fiber communication. Um, again, we just mentioned that the transmitter is from signal, electrical signal to optical signal. Imagine you have your um, input is 1010, and you expect that your optical signal will also have 1010 on. Um, yeah, when you have light on, that means you have, uh, you transmit your electrical signal one to this light on. Okay, so that means your on is represent your uh, signal one. Your off is represent your signal zero. Okay, so very simple, right? So you have your electrical signal to optical signal by turn the laser on and off and it goes through all the fiber in the receiver side. You just have to make sure your light on is can transfer to electrical signal one. Okay, so how we use the photo detector and um, um, change to receiver. Okay, we add a, let's add a little bit more color here. So we have the key part transmitter and the receiver. Um, for our voice, when we have a phone call, our voice is analog. So it goes through ADC, becomes digital. The digital will be, go through the driver and in your, in your laser. So that becomes transmitter. When you go to receiver, your photo detector will change your current, go to your trans amplifier, becomes voltage go to your DSP. After your uh, signal, after your digital signal processor, you go back to your DAC, which is change back to analog signal. Okay, so some signal if um, is, you don't need ADC, like uh, your digital information, you just can go through bypass your ADC and bypass your DAC. So that's the, that's the complete block diagram of your fiber communication transmitter. Keep in mind, transmitter and the receiver. Let's take an example. This is inside the, the data center's block diagram. You have a lot of servers and between server and server, you go to a different switch to make sure the data transfer correctly go to your, the destination. If, in, if you're inside data center, you will see a lot of the servers. Between server and the server, you have a lot of fiber. This yellow is fiber, look like that. So each module, you will have two fiber. One is transmitter, one is a receiver, uh, connect to the module. Now we take a look at what is inside the module. So inside module, we have again, transmitter and receiver. As we uh, mentioned before in the block diagram, we have transmitter has the driver and the laser, right? And uh, in the receiver side, you will have photo detector and uh, TIA we call transmit, a trans impedance amplifier. So this is simple, is your signal, electrical signal go to the driver, go to the laser, and uh, uh, transmitter goes through the long, long fiber and coming back in the receiver side, you will receive all the data. The data goes through the photo detector change to from optical to electrical and goes through the amplifier change from current to voltage and complete finish the loop. If we put some equation in what I just mentioned, the, the transmitter and the receiver, um, because of the different distance, we have different laser, the driver can provide either current or voltage, depend on what laser you need to add to finish in the 
uh, the transmitter side. For the receiver side, um, we go to the photo detector and um, also TIA to finish the complete loop. Okay, so we just to talk about what is a fiber, com uh, fiber communication, what's the basic uh, of the component and uh, how the transmitter and the receiver work. Now let's, uh, let's talk about uh, the, what is the product of a semiconductor? So normally, typical, we talk about wafer. The wafer is like a, a different size. Uh, some is three inch, six inch, 12 inch. The different size of this, uh, the circle we call wafer. And uh, inside uh, you have individual or this die. This die have some pad and later on, this pad will connect of the different circuit for external to, to detect. So, um, and inside the, the chip, we have a lot of transistor inside to, to finish all the amplifier, to finish all the signal processors uh, purpose. And for the semiconductor, we normally sell either in die or the package. Uh, here is typical the TIA die, and here is typical the driver die. And also sometimes we provide this package. So if we open that package inside, we have different die, and we have some of the resistor and the capacitor and inductors go through with that. So, uh, so my colleague Wilma will talk about in detail of the product process flow. So here I just give you some idea what's the product, the semiconductor product. Okay, so next topic, I would like to share some, um, uh, some parameters, how we make sure that we provide the good quality of the fiber for the fiber communication. Uh, so first, uh, I would like to uh, uh, talk about this eye diagram. Before I talk about that, I would like to introduce uh, one basic format for the fiber communication we call uh, non-return to zero, um, which is if we say this is zero, then on top, we say above this zero, we say your signal is a representative one. Below the zero, we call uh, the signal represent zero. Okay, so for this one is one one zero, one one zero zero. Okay, um, after we learn that NRZ, now we put we just think about we have a whole bunch of the uh, one and zero, and they are all overlap together. Then uh, accumulate that becomes the eye diagram. That's the typical eye diagram. And the next page, I will have some uh, live demo for this, how we create this eye diagram, how it works. Um, before we talk about that, I would like to say, okay, if I have very good data, zero, all the zero and one is, you know, rep, uh, rectangular, very rise, this rise time and fall time very fast then you will have this beautiful eye. The, 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 the beautiful eyes means you have a lot, you know, you have your top and the bottom very thin, and also the edge is very thin. So that one we call good eye because you have, you, it's easy, it's easy to judge all this one and a zero. The data go here is all one. The data go here, all zero, simple like that. Okay, let's take a look at this demo. See, this is a lot of one and a zero overlap becomes I. Let's do one more time. Okay. So next one is uh, we're going to answer why an eye diagram is so important. We just mentioned that how we judge a perfect eye. Very thin on top and bottom. But in reality, the uh, communication is not so perfect. You have a lot of loss. You have cable loss, you have the PCB traces, all the different uh, 
the damage or degrade of the signal. So the eye is look like that, very on top and the bottom, very thick. Then um, and then some of the data is in the middle of the eye. For the data in the middle of the eye, you really cannot judge. It is either one or zero. What if it's make a mistake? Then if in initial your transmitter is uh, this pattern in your receiver, you have one error, then you will make the, the complete communication, you will make error, your data means distorted. So this is the part which is we need uh, to uh, to move to test if your communication quality good or not. We use the signal, we use bit area to judge it's good or not. So the bit area is the number of the arrows in how many bits of the of the complete uh, your signal. So for example, if we have eight signal, you have one bit arrow between your transmitter and receiver, your BR is 12.5. Of course, this is a, for the communication is disaster because <laughs> we normally in the industry talk about 10 to minus 12 or even 10 to minus 15 for the bit error as the, as the criteria if to judge your, you know, your signal is good or not. Okay, so um, yeah, so here is uh, what I, I mainly talk about. So next a few uh, page, I just want to have very quick review of the, um, the lab. So it will show in detail uh, in early April lecture, the, the, we have this lab tool, but here I just have very quick review of this the lab we mentioned that we the product is like a waveform like that so this waveform will be in the chunk or the signal will connect it to uh, use this uh, probe tip to connect it all this equipment to test and there is another one which is for measures a package before is made uh, waveform measurement for the package it will uh, sit in the socket. The, so this socket will be open and put the parts in and close and all the data will go through all this PCB connect to the equipment. And uh, you will get the, uh, a detailed explanation uh, later in early of uh, April lecture. Okay, so I hope you guys uh, uh, enjoy uh, of this presentation and I have very uh, quick uh, quick quiz for you guys and uh, you guys uh, take a look and uh, we will review that uh, results uh, when in early of uh, April in the lecture. Thank you. Bye-bye.